Hey everybody, Valheim recently put out a public test branch patch with some interesting new fixes and tweaks to the game. Actually quite a few and some new things for the, uh, some tweaks for the Xbox players. And they also included a new build item. I don't know what got them to do this, but uh, it's pretty cool. Wait till you see it. But before we get to the patch, I wanted to show you this really cool background right here behind me. They actually released this over on Twitter a couple days ago. And it's a preview of the new forest uh, that's coming with the Ashlands. So let me get my big head out of the way there. And it's a little dark, but I wanted you to get a look at it. Actually, I'll get my head out of the way here. There you go. And I'm going to brighten it up for you just to get a little bit better look. Yeah, check that out. I'm going to slide it back and forth. It's kind of a long picture panoramic shot. And then I'll make it really bright. You can see what's going on in there. Now the ground here is kind of whitish, grayish. I'm not sure uh, if this is just because it's in a higher altitude or if, you know, so that there's snow on the ground or if this is supposed to simulate ash on the ground. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, but I love how all the trees are are illuminated here, you know, from the fire that's burning. And it seems to be some uh, hot particles floating around in the air also, not just ash, like maybe the hot particles, you know, coming off of the trees. Valheim is, uh, it's, it's so unique, you know, with its low uh, graphics, sort of pixel graphic art almost. The, if you look at this, the atmosphere that it's created with when trees are silhouetted against the sky, it's, it's amazing. And add that to it's a little bit out of focus. They've got some atmospheric effects and the, it just, it looks so good in Valheim despite the low graphic resolution as even, you know, a lot of uh, high end games uh, that have really, you know, nice graphics. They don't have the right atmosphere like this here with like, like, I mean, look at that. That just, that just looks awesome despite the low pixel art. Ashlands, hopefully we'll get to see this before the end of the year. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping for a December release. The holidays are a really big selling point for everybody in, you know, any, if you have any kind of product to sell, it's a really good time to, to make sales. So hopefully they can get this out by then and draw some attention to the game and, you know, boost the player base a little bit more. That'd be fun. Okay, let's talk about this patch right here that just came out on the public test branch. So it's not live yet. I highlighted a few things that I wanted to go through here. The abbreviated patch notes say they added a new build piece, a blue standing brazier. Also, server modifiers can be set to dedicated servers directly. Oh, that'll be awesome. So uh, well, if you're running a server, you know, for yourself or your friends or whatever, or, a pub, you know, server for the community, you had to create the world in single player, then set all the world modifiers, then save the save the world and then upload it to your server. And if you, you know, it's on your server and you want to make a change, then you'd have to download the world, load it to your single player, set the world modifier, save it and upload it again. A little bit frustrating, <laughs> but now that we can do this apparently directly on, um, you know, while the server's running, that would be awesome. They also uh, extended uh, hold or music. So uh, I uh, actually had um, some messages with Patrick Jarlstam, the composer for Valheim. And yeah, he mentioned that, uh, yeah, he was really excited to get to do the extended hall door music. And so if you actually, if you hang around to the end of the video, I'll put the mute, the full song up, uh, you know, just to play you out of the, uh, you know, out of the video, if you want to sit around and listen to that. They also added a player list to the pause menu. So if you hit escape to pause your game, you'll be able to choose uh, the player list or see the player list in the pause menu. I don't know exactly because I'm on the public test branch. I can't test this because I don't have a server right now currently running it, but apparently you're going to have access to the player list uh, if you're on a server in the pause menu. 
So that'll be cool. You get to see who else is on. They did lots of balance improvements and lots of bug fixes and some world modifier fixes. Okay, let's check out some of the ones that I highlighted specifically. So new build piece, the blue standing brazier. Let me show you that. Okay, so check these out right here. These are, you know, this is the standard brazier that we have. And this is the new brazier. And as you can see right there, it says it uses gray dwarf eyes for fuel instead of coal. Now, he, the original one has the really pretty uh, blue and orange glow. I actually kind of prefer that for a standard look. That looks really awesome. But, you know, if you want to go for a bit of a blue, you know, lighting effect throughout your base or your house or whatever, you can uh, do that instead. Although, check this out. It doesn't actually glow blue. It, it glows orange. Yeah, you would expect the area to be blue, but no, it's... It's orange. Now that's a bug I'll have to submit. Hopefully they can get that fixed before this goes live. They also added several more console commands uh, for admins. Uh, you got set world preset, reset world keys, set world modifier, players, set key, remove key, reset keys, list keys, uh, displays list on dedicated server, and a new command called sleep skip time, restart party, and genlock. Takes time, may cause disconnects. So if you type help in the console, it'll list all the commands that are available. And it has a little description next to each one of them to help you figure out what they do. I'm not sure what all of these do, although some of them are kind of obvious. And when it talks about keys, the key is a key event in the game, like having killed a, a troll or having killed one of the world bosses, because then that triggers certain events to start happening in the game. So all these ones that talk about keys, that's what that's referring to. They also disabled a Hoogan hint spreading disinformation about Hilder. And if I understand correctly, Hoogan would fly down to you, like if you're in the planes or something, and say, you can find Hilder in a place like this. Something like that. Of course, Hildur isn't found in the plains. She's in the meadows. Haldor and Hildur dialogue lines will be displayed a bit longer to make them easier to read. Well, that's good because they do say some fun stuff and they do come and go pretty quickly. So now you can enjoy them for a bit longer. Fix snap points naming for hot tub, oven, and removed one access snap point for barber station. They changed some snap points on the wood gate and the dark wood gate. Probably uh, they weren't quite in the right places and you probably noticed that if you tried to snap them properly. So hopefully this will get them to snap in properly now. Black marble bench and table no longer take rain damage. There you go. That'll I'm sure a lot of people are happy to hear that. Now, and I don't really think marble should probably take damage, should it? Uh, <laughs> it would be great to have an option in the world modifiers for build pieces to not take rain damage at all, if that's what you want. On my servers, uh, rain damage to the builds, especially since the uh, you know on servers, your, your builds can be exposed to the elements basically 24 seven if there are people you know, logged onto the server and, and they're in the area where your build is. Uh, yeah, so pe people hated that, you know, because they build this nice structure and they won't have to go around repairing all the time. So yeah, an option to turn that off would be great. We've actually allowed a mod that, that prevents it on our servers. You can now activate the guardian power again when using the hammer, hole, and cultivator. So yeah, I guess if those were equipped, that's not one that I noticed, but maybe some of you out there noticed if, if you had those equipped, you couldn't activate the power. So you gotta unequip it, activate the power, and then you know re-equip your thing, which is a little frustrating. So hopefully that's fixed now. Starred Fendering Cultists no longer drop multiple trophies, and Fendering Cultist in events can no longer spawn multiple trophies. So yeah. There you go, uh, no extra trophies anymore. So uh, if you're watching this before this patch goes live, get all your trophies now, because uh, they're gonna be a little more rare after the patch. Mobs spawned by bosses will now aggro the player even when playing with passive mobs modifier since the boss already was aggroed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, you're playing passive mode. I guess some of you might 
just want a bunch of friendly NPCs running around for no reason that were spawned in by the boss. Uh, or not, maybe not friendly, but at least they, so they wouldn't attack you. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess if you're messing with the boss, then uh, the mobs are an extension of that boss. At least when this patch comes out, they will be. Reduced HP on mini bosses spawn during Hilder events by 50%. You know, the ones that come to raid your base. I guess they're a little too tough and some of you let them know. Uh, I think the games can be a little easy. I mean, it depends on the stage you're at. You know, if, if you're at a lower stage, then they uh, everything can be a little tough as you get to the next biome. But, you know, okay, 50% less health. Ballista updated to accept trophies from the Hilder's request bosses. Well, that's good. You know, if you get raid on your base and the bosses come at you, your ballista aren't going to shoot, weren't, aren't going to shoot at them unless the trophies work, right? You got to put the trophy in the ballista to tell the ballista, hey, I want you to target this mob. So there you go. Player position is saved on manual save. Uh, this is this is good because, uh, you know, if if your game crashes or you, you lose power or something, your computer shuts down and you haven't experienced one of the uh, automatic like every 30 minute saves your character and you even if you did a manual save, it doesn't save your position. So you could have all the stuff that you normally had, but you would be way in another location. And we even had that problem on our server. So hopefully this applies to servers as well. If I do a manual save on the server or you do a manual save in your single player, hopefully this does work now because we've had players have to go a long distance on my server after I save it and then do a quick little update or reboot of the server. And then they find themselves, you know, 29 minutes <laughs> running or sailing from where they were and have to, you know, backtrack. And clicking outside a map pin input closes input field now. Yeah, frustrating, you know, if you click and it's not quite the right spot and it's got that little input field, you'd have to like close the map and then reopen it and then find the spot again and click it. So yeah, nice that that will just close now after that update. Yeah, some uh, Xbox uh, updates here too. I'll just highlight them here. Feel free to stop the video and check them out if you're on Xbox and you're interested in those. And I did scroll past all the other ones. So if there's any that I scrolled past that I didn't mention and you wanna read, just feel free to stop the video. Uh, nice things for servers on here and server admins for multiplayer. Hey, if you wanna play on a multiplayer server, I've got uh, a bunch. I've got a seasonal server. I've got a vanilla a server, uh, you know, no mods needed. And then I have a modded server. So if you're interested in that, uh, my season five is actually going to start here in a few weeks. You know, come hang out on my discord, get uh, friendly with the community, ask questions if you have them. I actually have servers for a lot of other games too. Uh, just go to discord.gg slash Jurok the Viking. Uh, but if you don't want to play on my server, but you still want to play multiplayer, maybe with just your friends, check out G portal. You can save 10% with my link. I'll throw up the link right here. There you go. Yep jirokthevikingcom slash G portal and save 10%. All right. I'm going to play that Haldor uh, extended song here for you at the end of the video, but I would just say a huge thanks to all my patrons out there. Support me on Patreon and my YouTube supporters. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, everybody. That's it for now. Enjoy the Haldor music.